Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Carrie Waltz and I share tips, tools, and techniques for the artist in you. I don't know if you know what plein air painting is, but it's painting out in the plain air, plein air as they call it. And I just got back from a plein air event in Blue Ridge, Georgia, and I wanted to share some highlights with you and get you tempted or thinking about, hmm, would I want to do that someday? I hope you enjoy it. And if you've subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it and I want to share my adventures with you and I'm going to be videoing some of the upcoming plenary events that I have planned in the future. At the end I'm going to also share with you one of my next event adventures in the Smoky Mountains at the end of this month. So take a look at this one and see what you think. I'm going to register for the plenary event. Don't know that I'll actually enter a piece at the end but I am going to paint this week. I brought oils, gouache, and watercolor. Uh, oils are probably the only thing I would enter. And I brought a variety of frames so that whatever size I choose to enter, I will have a frame for. So, we shall see. This is my first painting of the Blue Ridge Mountain Arts plein air event. I was inspired by that clump of trees and this rock, so I moved that rock down to that clump of trees and uh, painted it that way. The next morning we decided to go out near her cabin because the afternoon's activities were going to be in that area and I wanted to just play with my gouache and do some quick sketches try to capture the, the feel of the area and kind of get warmed up for the afternoon of a quick paint event. That was my quick sketch with my gouache. I did a couple others in my notebook, but I was pleased with it, but wasn't going to enter it in the competition. The quick paint event started later the afternoon and we had a little bit of time to find where we wanted to paint. I found a tree that had shade. That's where I was going to be. So I set up my easel and sketched off my aluminum panel with the dry erase marker. And I had an hour and a half to paint this. And I was pretty pleased with how it turned out for that short amount of time. They recommend that after you finish painting that you frame your work so it'll be ready for judging. So here it is. I wanted to show you Marsha's work. She did a work in pastel, it won honorable mention. She is a mentor and teacher of mine, so proud of her and so thankful for all that she has taught me. This is just a close-up of hers without the frame. This is Mercier Farms, Apple Farms in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Beautiful place to paint. Show you the size I'm working with. This is a homemade palette that's in an Altoid tin, and that's my view. This was actually my favorite watercolor of the weekend. I had a lot of fun just sketching it out and getting a feel for the day and not having the stress of having to make something that might be entered in the competition. So I just stuck with watercolor and, and soon after I finished, the rain moved in. The last morning of the event, this tree with the fog behind it caught my attention. So I did a quick painting and framed it to enter. I entered it and the first one that I painted the first day. Just to let you know some of the other plenary events that I have scheduled, one is at the end of September, the last full week, is in the Smoky Mountains. I went last year, that was their very first initial annual plenary event, and it's different from the one that I just explain to you. This one has invited artists and their purpose is to paint as much as they possibly can, raise as much money for the Friends from the Smokies, and that's for the preservation of the park. So different plenary events focus on different things and sometimes they're invited artists and sometimes anyone can show up and participate. It doesn't matter. Some artist friends are going with me and I plan on having a lot of fun whether I paint in gouache, oil, or watercolor. It doesn't matter. It's just a great way to make friends and be out in nature. I hope you join me someday. 